Hello creatives, welcome to the daily pick a card and birthday reading for September 6. If you were born today after sunrise, you are a five of diamonds. If you were born before sunrise, you're a yesterday's card, which was a six of diamonds. So the way this works is that I read each card individually, then all together for the collective. We're going to talk about a Five of Diamonds day and the energy that that encompasses, the high vibe, the low vibe, given the cards and the message. Then we're going to wish the Five of Diamonds a very happy birthday. This is your solar year cards. They are here to help you help yourself to heighten your manifesting abilities by raising your vibration and growing your energy with that so that you have that in the reserve to draw on whenever you need to manifest. All right. Let's start with card number one, a nine of spades. So we've got K2 energy here. This is K2 spades and clearly it is about letting baggage go. This is family, ancestral, DNA that we have brought with us from generations of with the remedies and cures suit about how we take care of ourselves mentally and physically. So we're going to get an upgrade. This is a great card to get because it is all about letting go of some useless blood sucking <laughs> life sucking energy that you do not need. And how is that done? Well, it's done by recognizing through getting a piece of the puzzle, right? Your, your spirit guides bring it. You see it. You understand in some inkling, some way it strikes you as the thing that needs to be done. You can't unsee it. So when you see how from generations and generations, this, this garbage, this baggage that was saddled on God knows how many people that you have gotten some of is ready to be lifted. It's just like sending it off to source to be burned for the greater good, given that energy, because it's all just energy. So whatever energy that is, it can be used for anything. So it's being sent to be used for the greater good. That's how it's easier to let it go, knowing that that's where it's going to. All right. So what is it around? And thank goodness this is in the upright position. <laughs> it's hermit energy. So it might take a little contemplating to realize what needs to be cleared in a little or a lot. This is for you to decide whatever comes to you is what you're ready for, what needs and is ready to be healed for you to really kind of give yourself a breath of fresh air. So yeah, this is lovely. And um, right in that it is something that is going to really serve you well in the future. All right, let's look at card number two. We've got the Eight of Diamonds here. It's in reverse, so we may be bumping up into that uh, shadow attributes of the Five of Diamonds. This energy around a reversed Eight of Diamonds is kind of in that same realm of diamond reversals, which is that 
ungroundedness. It is in this eight connotations, not understanding where we are being invited to explore and experiment, being held back in some way, not trusting that it is the right move to make, being um, feeling like you're lacking the resources because the diamond suits are all about skills and talents and finances and how you make a living, how you take care of what you have, how you value what you have, who you are at your core. So core values. So that is what we might be bumping up into. This is earth energy. It's feminine energy. So it's going to come through a little softer than if it were in the black suit, but it's still going to feel some kind of disconnect. So for the eights, it is that energy of uh, a reversed hangman. So again, feeling like you just don't have what you need to take the time to get there, to allow something to come through. So it's exactly what you need to do. You need to settle. You need to just let that time tell you what is being triggered for you. Because when you, when you get triggered by this energy coming in, it could be you being triggered into that kind of behavior, but it could also just be energy that you bump into on your merry way today. So how are you going to deal with it? What does that bring up for you? So, you know, it is all about accepting that there's something that needs to be looked at. You got to question it, the desire, the impulse, whatever blocks you're feeling, and then accept what you get because it's being brought forth from your diamonds and your creative guides to, in a timely manner, to be healed and released. It's ready. That's all in whatever measure it comes in. And you can ask your guides, your daimon, with the best of intentions and with great gratitude to co-create this thing with you. Ask them to bring the clarity, bring the balance, and help you through it. It's beautiful when it happens. All right, let's move on to card number three. We've got the Queen of Spades. So the Queen of Spades, interestingly, is in the chart of the Five of Diamonds. I do look at the birth charts of the day so that we can get a little more rounded view of what might be coming energy-wise for us to tap into. So the Queen of Spades is actually in the sun spot for the Five of Diamonds. So this is a spot that is really beautifully designed to kind of take that on as a second skin. Now we're talking about the Five of Diamonds here. So if it's your birthday, this is more in that for you. So for the rest of us, though, it is going to give our sun positions and whatever we have in our charts a boost of Queen Spades energy. So this feminine yet masculine balanced energy is all about finding the cures for what ails us. Tons of energy, knowing how to get it done, being creative with it, tapping into that Neptunian intuitive veil parting for us in this position. Beautiful energy to counterbalance whatever this eight of diamonds 
in reverse on this diamond day is going to set in front of us. We've got some baggage to let go of, so do look at that as well, knowing that at the end of the day, as we read this for the collective, we're going to get baggage put in front of us, undeniable. We definitely are going to understand that this is something that is for us to deal with today. That baggage is going to be around how we validate what we have, our values, basically. How you validate you wanting, going after what you get and how you look for that possibly from an outside source, that piece that's missing, telling you how to turn that and feel that validation within, just grounding into a deeper, more aware, more really richly diplomatic and confident and lucky. <laughs> it's a lucky big break card when it's in the right upright position. So you might be feeling a little down on your luck with this one, or you might be running into that energy out there. So hold your own if that's the case and understand that this is giving you the opportunity to revisit how you validate you. Okay, that's what we're getting here. And we are going to be able to take care of it just fine. Thank you. <laughs> In no bullshit terms. This is the no bullshit queen. This is diplomatic abilities. This is clever and clear insight. It is you getting that glimpse of your true self. Just no nonsense, you know? It's reliable, energetic, passionate for finding that truth, that solid, beautiful, undeniable truth about you taking care of you so that you can take care of everything else. All right, we can do this today. Let's move on to the birthday. Happy birthday, Five of Diamonds. This is awesome. I hope your day is going amazing and that you have the beautiful, perfect year. Let's see where you are being invited to take a look how you can raise your vibration and therefore gather all the energy that you could possibly want to turn around and channel into manifesting. Hmm. Seed. All right. Having the intention to grow like a seed and bloom is at the heart of creativity. Well, that's for sure, and no one would know it like you because you are gleaming seeds left and right. You, as a five of diamonds, very happy in doing the do, gleaming the nuggets. Every day you are seeing something that is worthy to put in the toolbox and later on, seeing that opportunity as to how to bring that up into something that is really workable, doing its job in the best way possible. That's the life of the fives. And to think that you've got that two of spades on your ecliptic is brilliant because that is you figuring it out. Not always easy. Sometimes you gather a lot of junk <laughs> that later doesn't fit and you need to discard it and start again, which is brilliant. I mean, you are so capable of doing that and you recognize it. You get better at recognizing it every day with this queen of spades on your son. 
absolutely brilliant. And knowing that your Rahu is that exploration of that stability, that emotional stability that that you can ground into, the more you experiment with that, the better you are going to get at any kind of manifesting, bringing in what you need to become the best version of you quicker, more grounded, more able to identify brilliantly what is good for you and therefore good for everyone else. The, the trick for you, the catch-22, is really that, that Pluto, that six of spades, and having those things come through for you, feeling like they are the ticket, then later figuring it's not. And even if it is, it's staying in that, oh, okay, good to go. You're done, but you're done for the moment. And then you need to go back to work on your your ego and soul connection on how you take care of you. This is where that queen of spades really plays a bigger role for you because it is that knowing uh, more intuitively how to learn to incorporate that six because queens incorporate the fours, fives, and sixes of the same suit. So all your abilities are there. What needs to come in is that exploration of the emotional connectivity to exactly that, that softening, gentle knowingness that it is right for you for a certain length of time. Then you need to feed the soul. It's beautiful. There you go. All right. See what you get for the spirit and nature. You got the eight of spades. So really, it is about taking time to do exactly that. That connecting to source, again, this is Rahu, this is that four of hearts for you. It is um, in the cards of truth, it is the chariot. So that is the major arcana card that it's related to. So it's you basically learning how to ride that rodeo chariot in the best way possible to gain success in, in, in mastering exactly what the cards are here to invite you to do. Anytime that you can explore that is a win. It's going to raise your vibration just paying attention to it. All right, let's see what you get for the Wishcraft card. Candle magic. Every day things get better. Hopefully, right? That's the truth. Because the more you explore into that four of hearts, go and have a look into where that sits in the upper seven so that you can understand where that Rahu is being called to. All right? All right. Happy birthday, Five of Diamonds. Carpe diem, everyone. I hope today really goes beautifully for us all. And we hold our own in this energy. And obviously, with kindness and curiosity and hopefully creativity on our journey. <laughs>